Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Story Time with Miss Chelsea. And that's right, I'm your host, Miss Chelsea. Today, you guys, we have a lot of exciting things planned, and I am so excited that you are joining us this morning. And so I want to start right away with our special guest. He is flying all the way from, actually, I don't know where he's flying from, so we'll have to ask him, but his name is Perry. So let's give him a nice warm drum roll as he flies on in. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go. Hello, everybody at home. <laughs> so happy to see you. Hi, Miss Chelsea. Hi, Perry. How are you? I'm doing great. I had a cracker before, and then um, I ate another cracker, and it was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. That's good. How was your flight in? Oh, my flight in was great. I uh, came down from Toronto, Canada, and oh. um, that's where I live, actually. Most parrots live in the tropics, but I like the cold. So I'm like it in Michigan right now, nice and cold for this parrot. It is nice and cold, but you know what, Perry? I know how we can warm up. Oh, how can we warm up? I've got a new song for us to learn today. Oh, do you know the lyrics to this one? <laughs> I think so, Perry. I think we can get through with this one. All right, that sounds good. All right. Can't wait. Do I get a cracker at the end of all this? I think we can arrange that. Because I love crackers. <laughs> There's nothing I love more than a cracker and going yum, 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 yum. What's your favorite cracker? My favorite cracker <laughs> is people. Oh, Perry, uh, you can't eat people. People are not crackers. <laughs> so Did I say people? I'm sorry. I, I meant um, like saltine crackers. It's just sometimes yes. saltine crackers are like people, you know, they're all salty <laughs> and delicious. Okay, Perry. Yes, okay, I love that. my crackers. Well, you'll get a saltine after this, but we gotta sing first. Okay. Because the kids wanna know this new song. Oh, I wanna know the new song too. Are you ready? Yes. All right, well, we gotta stretch out first one because this one's pretty uh pretty active. Uh, so can you stretch uh, your wings? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Something I spy! Oh, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. You okay, Perry? I'll make it. You might get two saltines after this. Two? Yeah. Wow. All right, did you stretch out your beak? Are you ready? Right, I'm ready to go. All right, are you guys ready at home? All right, then let's start. This song is called Father Abraham. Oh, I love that song. Do you? I do. I'm so excited that you love this song, Perry. I'm all excited right. that you're excited that I'm excited. <laughs> We're all excited here, and I hope you guys are excited at home. So if you would all please stand, we are going to get started. All right, here we go. Father Abraham had, had many, many sons. sons. Many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right on, Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, Father Abraham had many sons. <laughs> Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise. You're laughing too hard, Miss Chelsea. I'm sorry, Perry. The kids are still singing, and you are laughing. You're doing so good, Perry. It's all the excitement. I can't contain myself. Should we start that <sighs> part again? Let's start it <sighs> Oh, I need a nap. Oh. <laughs> That was a lot of work. I'm just a little parent. I know, Carrie. I know. But you're doing 
so good. Let's just do one more round, okay? Okay, one more round. Let's go. You guys follow this vlog at home and don't laugh like some yeah, people don't laugh. <laughs> who can't keep a straight face when they're singing a very serious song. Yes. All right, Perry, you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Father Abraham, Abraham had many, many sons. Many <laughs> sons. <laughs> Father Abraham, I am one of them. And so are you. So oh let's call first the Lord. <laughs> Why? Right foot. Oh, right foot. foot. Chin up. Turn around. Sit <laughs> down. Wow, Perry. <laughs> How are so, you doing over there? Oh, are you going to give me one of those people to eat now? <laughs> no, Perry, you can't eat people. Oh, I've been animal crackers. <laughs> you guys, Perry. Well, good seeing you guys. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go see the, the story. I'm gonna yeah. go sit Ms. over here. Miss Beth has your saltines waiting oh! in the office. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some saltines. Yeah, go get some saltines. I love Perry. saltines. They're better than people. <laughs> That's right. Saltines are better than people. Well, thank you, Perry. I thank had fun you. today. I hope oh, you come so again. Fun. I I will come again as long as there are some kind of crackers. <laughs> there will always be saltines for you, Perry. Okay. Bye, All guys. Right. Thank you, Perry. Perry out. Thank you so much, Perry, for joining us. That was so much fun. But we need to learn about God. So let's read our next story. And I'm sure you could tell from the song that we are going to learn about Abraham. So find a comfy seat, maybe grab a stuffed or someone you love and come and cozy on up as we read our story. God's Big Promise. Many years after the flood, God made a big promise. He said to a man named Abraham, go to the land I will show you and I will make of you a great nation. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Wow, that was good news. God told Abraham to go to a new place because God was going to make a new people so that God's blessing would spread to all people. What a big promise God made to Abraham. Holy moly. Abraham listened to God's word, and then Abraham did what God said. Abraham went to the land God showed him. Do you know how Abraham felt when he got there? How would you feel going to a new place? Abraham felt scared. He wasn't sure how God would help keep his promise. After all, Abraham and his wife Sarah were very old, too old to have children. One night, Abraham thought and thought. How could, <laughs> I'm sorry. One night, Abraham thought and thought. How could he become a great people if he didn't have even one child? And how could he become a blessing to all peoples without children and grandchildren of his own? God knew what Abraham was thinking. God talked to him. Don't be afraid, Abraham. Come outside and look up into the night sky. Count all the stars if you can. You will have as many children as there are stars in the sky. So Abraham went outside. Abraham looked up into the night sky and tried to count the stars. And then something happened. As he stood there counting, suddenly... Abraham believed God's word. That made God very happy. His promise was very big. And Abraham's faith in God's promise was very big too. All right, you guys. So Abraham had faith in God and God made him a promise. So we need to make sure that we trust in God too with our lives. So let's go ahead and pray together before we leave. 
Dear Lord, thank you so much for the promise that you made Abraham. And thank you so much for the promises that you make to us. And thank you for loving us, Lord. And I ask today that everybody watching will just have a wonderful day and that they will grow up to have a heart for you, Lord. And I just pray that they will be kind to others. And we just thank you for this time and the fun we got to have learning about you. And I ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thank you.